My lords, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. We're back in Canada once again, in Alberta and British Columbia and the Rocky Mountains. We are starting this episode in the small town of Field, which is nestled very snugly in the Rocky Mountains in this little valley here that we can see. And what we're going to do today is continue with our Rocky Mountain Railway passenger line. When we left off previously, we'd run out as far as Lake Louise here, where we can see our tracks terminate somewhat abruptly. And the plan for today is to get these tracks extended as far as we can. Now, I've had a look at the layout of the land here in and around field and what we've got to work with. And I think the best option is going to be to bypass the town of field with our line and instead head straight towards the towns of Golden and Donald and what we'll do to get field linked to our network is simply run a tram or bus service from field over to the station at Lake Louise after all these stations uh, sorry the towns they're not that far away from each other so it would make some sense and it will make life a lot easier as well just because of the train and also trying to fit a station in this sort of region for field is going to be logistical nightmare there's not that much room to work with as we can see and if we look here once we get to the end of the town here in field we can see the land drops off quite precariously by about 50 odd meters according to the height elevation map so it's just i don't think it's going to be viable at this point in time to have a station for field itself so as i said we'll simply give them a bus service into lake louise and they can come here to board the Rocky Mountain Well right if they need to. So with all that being said, let's make a start. We'll start with our tracks, obviously, and we'll pick up just where we've left off here. Now, as I said, I did have a look at the train map, and at the minute, our tracks terminate at an elevation of around about 200 to 210 meters, and we really want to be heading down to this level, which is around about 160, 170. So what we're gonna to want to do is bring these tracks down to that sort of elevation so to encourage that we'll send them down manually we don't want to go too aggressive however we don't want our trains to struggle with the gradient after all and we want to be able to you know ensure they can maintain decent speeds but what we're going to do we're going to no, we're not <laughs> no we're not going to do that what we are going to do is get down to around about 170 180 and then we'll take it from there. So we're gonna to have to keep checking periodically what we're at. See, we're already at 190, which is great. Just another 20 meters to go. And then we're at our desired elevation. Now, I do foresee this is gonna create a tunnel. As we can see there, it's already started the tunnel. So this is gonna be quite costly because the tunnel is gonna be pretty big, pretty long. But given the fact we're in the mountain ranges, I think a quite long tunnel isn't beyond you know the realms of realism shall we say now if I can just get okay unfortunately it's giving me the height at the terrain above the tracks rather than the tracks themselves but I think we are pretty much where we need to be as a guess I mean if we look at the elevation of our tracks what we can select we're at 184 so really we're only wanting to lose another 15 or so meters so I think what we'll do at this point is we'll actually have our tracks run straight. Now, as I said, this tunnel is going to be pretty extravagant. It's gonna basically go straight through the mountain underneath the town of Field, and then emerge on the other side in that little plateau sort of area we were just looking at here. And as we can see, we've come out, keeping the tracks level, at the ground sort of level that we were aiming for so we've pretty much got that spot on give or take which is not bad going there we go so that's our first relatively well not relatively it is a big long tunnel what I think I might do is either off camera or in a more relaxed sort of slow episode is just do some scenery work around this tunnel entrance to make it look a bit more prestigious almost because this sort of tunnel this sort of excessive length tunnel would be you know one of those tunnels that has 
a name and you'd imagine it would be quite well known you know amongst the locals so i think edifying it as best we can with some assets and terrain work isn't a bad idea anyway we've emerged now on the far side of field what we want to do now is just take a break from the track lane head over to golden and to donald and decide where we want the station now again the towns are pretty close to each other how hmm no i've just had an idea i was thinking of having just the one station serving both towns but what i might do is have the the rocky mountain rail station in i'm gonna say golden but also have a station in donald and just have a little local service as well so then we would have a station in both cities but our rocky mountain line would only stop at one of them and as i said i think i'm going to lean towards golden for that so if that's what i'm planning on doing and i think i am it's something a bit different rather than just using trams and buses get to this station we'll have a little local commuter station as well so let's go ahead and put a station down now and we'll put it around about here i think it is quite close to this residential area which is unfortunate but it is what it is and we'll just give him a road connection so we have that active that active connection and access for the residents looks good and then what we want to do is check our elevation here at the station around about 140 and our track is at where are we 170 so we need to start heading down once again so we can do that but we've got quite a distance to lose those 30 meters of elevation so it's not really too excessive and i don't think it's gonna cause too many tra dramas for our trains little bridge there before the tunnel looks quite nice i think i'll take that just spread it out a little further so it's not quite so tight i mean i know they are capped at 56 anyway but i didn't want it to be too sharp of a bend on the bridge a nice sweeping bridge looks quite pleasant right then let's just get the lay of the land here so we know where we're heading i think if we head pretty much make it as if we're aiming for those signals up here Obviously, that's not where the track is going to go, but as a guide marker, I think that'll work quite nicely for us. I think we'll avoid a tunnel there. We'll go for the uh, cutting instead. Doesn't look too bad. We'll keep the bridge out. In fact, no, we won't keep the bridge. We'll have a raised bit of earthworks instead. We have a nice bridge just there, so let's not overdo it. Yeah, that looks fine. Now, as I said, we are going to want to start losing some elevation on our tracks here. So let's start forcing them down just a touch. Again, I'm not wanting to do it too drastic. We have a tunnel there, but that's okay. It doesn't look too bad. And if we just now take a moment to check where we're at. So we're at 170, so we need to lose quite a bit now. Around about 40 metres, really. Okay, this tunnel is getting a little bit excessive, I think. Or perhaps not. Okay, well, hmm. No, we'll not have that sort of, you know, that length tunnel. We'll, uh, we'll let the game decide the gradient and then we'll force its hand once we start to straighten up after this curve here. So we'll take it round there. There we go. Do we want to merge into our freight line here? I mean, I did double track it. That's all been, all been done off camera, by the way. So we could, yeah, we could share the line there. And then we just have to be mindful as to how many trains we're running down here so we don't have trains waiting on each other too frequently and slowing either our freight or our passengers. But that would add an extra challenge. Although looking at it, the, uh, the freight line is some way up from where we are. Could we rise up to catch it without being... No, I don't think it's going to be possible. So instead we'll run alongside but uh, at a lower elevation so we have a, a two-tier train line almost which you know in its own regard look, does look quite pleasant yeah that's, that's quite nice okay let's just take another moment here and check where we're at 173 so we 
really need to start bleeding off some elevation now but as we're emerging from this these uh, this mountain range into this little river valley here through the middle I think we're gonna start losing elevation quite naturally anyway so not too sure I like the idea of a huge bridge hmm do I like that let me just take a moment and have a think about it I don't think I do so instead, I'll shorten this length of track. There we go, now we don't have the bridge. Oh, we have a little bridge, that's okay. Do we want to drop down that aggressively? I'll, yeah, we'll do it. We do need to bleed off some elevation now. Just quickly check again, 158, so we're getting a much closer now. Lost about 12 meters there, which is nice. And shall we merge into our freight line at this point? What track am I using there? Okay, let's swap to the inner track and see if we can get him to go parallel nicely. In anticipation for the merge, obviously. Let's see here. How, what's the height difference there? They're not far off, that should. If I, does that look about the same height there? It's hard to tell. I think maybe that we'll go for that and we should be able to now snap in nicely just watching the speed here 70 miles an hour so now we've gone parallel which I'm sure you're sick of me saying this now but I'm gonna say it anyway now that we've gone parallel that is gonna give us a nice smooth junction without the track overlap which causes me a great deal of discomfort Anyway, let's try and get a nice high-speed junction here. Okay, that's going to be quite slow. What about if we take it off from here? What speeds can we achieve? Can we get to at least 50? 47? All of saying that, is there any point actually merging to the freight line? Because we're going to be derating this way up to the station, aren't we? So, where we've just gone parallel, we'll delete back to say there because then we can just sweep it off and head towards that station there that's gonna make more sense isn't it so let's do that let's go that way instead so we're just basically we're not we're not kissing them we're just waving hello as we pass by okay so we're getting close now the angles not looking great here as we can see we have to do a little bit of an s bend Let's see if we can get a nice sort of smooth curve put in place here. Let's get the crossroad out of the way. There we go. Like, could we do this in one motion? And how will it look? It doesn't look too bad and the speed is good, so I'll take that. Okay, there we go. That's our Rocky Mountain line now connected as far as a Golden. We will want a diamond switch here. So we'll just set it back just a little like that. There we go. And then we want to put the signals in. So I'll do that now and I'll uh, put a little jump cut in and we'll pick it back up once the signal work has been completed. Okay, so we're back. I've done the signals and what I've also done is I've gone over with a ballast paint tool and just filled in most of the grassy areas that were produced between the two tracks. So as we can see now we've got pretty much full ballast which just makes it look uh, like it's a well used line anyway what we want to do now is sort out a little bus system for the town of Golden so our residents can get over to the station and back so let's do that now what we want to do first of all is just connect that road in there as well so we now have a loop around the station and then we'll go ahead get some no not that one that one yep there we go we'll get a few bus stops put in and what I'll do is I'll do the the typical sort of two-way loop sort of system around the entire city like this and then heading back down this way and back out towards the station there we go so we're gonna have the two bus lines here one running clockwise and one running counterclockwise and they're going to share all the stops. So let's get these put in. 
There we go. Line one, new line. Change the colours and the naming in a few moments once I've got them both set up. There we go. What I'm going to do is just change the name of this to... Is this Golden? Yes, it is. Golden Station. That way I know when they're waiting at a stop, we can see if they're heading to Golden Station, which obviously means they're heading onto our Rocky Mountain Railway or the local commute service over towards Donald. Anyway, let's get the line manager back up because I want to rename these now. And this is going to be bus service 01 and 02 for Golden. There we go, that's them both named up. Let's uh, give them a better colour scheme, shall we? We'll have a yellow one and we'll have a... We'll go for a, a nice deep red one. There we go. Didn't change the colour there. Oh, that's better. Yes, yeah, sorry. That's what I wanted to do. There we go. Nice high contrasting colours there, so it's easy to see at a glance what line we're looking at. Okie dokie, do we have a... No, we don't have a vehicle depot anywhere nearby. Didn't think we did, but I wanted to check. So we'll go ahead and put one in. And we'll just use the end of this road here. Just try and get it aligned up straight. There we go, that's close enough. So we're going to have... Uh, five per... No, yeah, five per route five per line so that would be ten in total and then the first five are going to be colored yellow and their bus service two and then the dark red bus service one there we go so the last thing we need to do to get this all set up properly is go to our rocky mountain railway manage the line and then after you go to lake louise you're now coming out to golden and then back to lake louise there we go then, that's the Rocky Mountain Railway now extended out towards the town of Golden. What we'll do now is we shall run the track out a little bit further. Our next town on the hit list, so to speak, is going to be up here at Rogers Pass. Just have to, I've not checked this out yet, but uh, I was discussing this with... Peter Ray, one of the subscribers, in the uh, comments of a recent video, and he's got as far as Rogers Pass and his own personal uh, save game on this map, and he said it was a bit of a nightmare. And just looking at it, I believe I can see why. It's not going to be the easiest thing to do in the world, but we will find a way. So what I want to do, probably won't get it connected to Rogers Pass in this episode, but what we can do as a start is at least get the tracks heading that sort of direction. Right, let's have a look here. Obviously, we do want to head to Donald as well, but we do have this depot to contend with sat right in our way. So what we might have to do here, let's have a look. I don't think we're going to have the space to merge in here. No. Okay, so let's just get rid of that depot. There we go. I'll double track this stretch here where it was previously single track. So all down here will be double track. There we go. Just quickly pause it. We'll have to leave the track because it's going to upset the trains. Understandably so, because they have nowhere to go now. Likewise, just get him to move off the way there. And now pause it and we'll delete this little bit. There we go do a few signals here just so they know what they're doing. I'm going to have to chase this train down with these signals otherwise it's going to get cross when it comes to a one way signal. Oh dear, we don't have a connection there. I'm glad I spotted that. There we go. Now we do. And we'll replace those with two way signals like so. And we're going to now need a diamond here. There we go. Why are the trains still unhappy? What's the issue? What's your problem there? No path. I think you do have a path. Is it that way you just have to send him on his way? Yeah, that's all it was. Sometimes it does that, and if you just reverse his direction, aka send him on his way manually, he gets over his little problem, and he uh, gets on with it. Anyway, yes. I think what we'll do here from Donald to 
Golden is we'll merge into the freight line and then the Rocky Mountain line will branch off over the river however the passenger line will continue on the freight line we'll put a bypass track here at this station and then we'll go ahead and put our passenger station in here somewhere for Donald so let's get that done now shouldn't take us too long he says optimistically and perhaps foolishly let's see so we want to curve straight away do we no that looks daft especially that sharp let's uh not do that quite so aggressively shall we just do it a bit more there we go that's better so we're coming out and heading straight in to this freight line here I'm not going to say why I'm snapping it parallel, you all know why, I am sure. There we go, and then we'll bring them together. The yeah, lowest there I think was 61, which is decent enough. It's very decent in fact. Especially at this point in time when our train's not got anywhere near 61 miles per hour. And in fact, what I'm going to do is just... Now I've, I'm going to keep the junction to say there whoops not like that and then instead of snapping parallel to the other track I'm going to drag this out to here so it basically joins in in one swift motion and then redo the first leg of track like this and that should look nice and flat yes it does and it also keeps it a lot smoother in terms of the curve heading into the station Let's get this signalled up because we need to protect this junction so we don't have any collisions. Not that you would have a collision, but obviously in reality it would be signalled up to keep it well protected. So we'll do it here as well. And we'll put a clearing signal there. And then we're going to need a diamond into this station. And then we'll put a stopping signal for the station there. So, as I said, our Rocky Mountain line is going to branch off about here, I think, and head down towards the river, where it's going to then bridge across towards Rogers Pass. So, say somewhere like here. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. And then there. And then they're going to immediately start making their way off. Perhaps don't go down quite so aggressively because we don't want to be at waters at sea level, so to speak. We want to be a little bit higher because we're going to want a nice bridge over the river. And we'll leave that there for the time being. And then what we're going to need is to... I think... Oh, yes. What we'll do is we'll bring this diamond a little further back. Like that. Get rid of that signal and the diamond there. So they'll use this diamond instead. Now these tracks are multi-directional. And then we'll have one what splits off. It can be quite slow. And then we want to put a, a flying junction, so to speak, in here. So let's go to configure, add some new tracks. Just like that. And then connect it into where we've just branched off. There we go. So our commuter service is going to come this way and then on towards Golden and vice versa. Just put a signal there to protect that. In fact, first of all, let's decide where we're going to put our little commuter station. We'll keep it short length. It doesn't need to be too long. It's only a little local station. Where can we fit it in? Could we get it there? Yes. Yep, that'll do. And then can we get the tracks to connect in? Okay, it's going to be one long bridge. I'll live with that, I think. Yes, there. And then just connect that in there as well. That'll do. That'll do nicely. Donald transfer. Now we're just going to call this Donald. There we go. Obviously call it transfer because this one was originally called Donald before we added the freight station to it. And then what we can do is set up a little, like I said, little shuttle service in towards Golden. And what I'm also going to do, because we had to remove the 
the depot, if you remember, a few moments ago. So I'll rebuild the depot now. And we'll put that there. And obviously we're going to connect this now into this end of the station at Donald. Like that. Had to remove a building there, but needs must. There we go. It does look a bit odd that we have bridge either side of a station what do we have here the san diego electric trolley very good we can have a look at that i am sure what i'm going to do though is just bring the train up here and in fact i may bring all this up and then rebuild this track with earthworks rather than an excessive bridge like that because it looks a bit odd having a station on land surrounded by bridges either side so if we just do it on this side for example there's no need to do both sides as long as we have earth on the one side it should be okay like that and then just smooth off that bit of exposed rock there how does that look that look yeah that looks better there we go so now we can set up a little Little commuter service between Donald and Golden. There we go, something simple like that. It can have the colour green. I've noticed our steel train has decided he's going to avail himself of this route. I would prefer that he didn't do that. He's supposed to go this way. So what we're going to have to do very quickly... <laughs> steel freight Donald to Calgary after Donald you want to come this way and then after Calgary you're coming back this way there we go that's better I'm not sure why he decided to go that way I suppose it might be quicker as a crow flies or something who knows anyway yes we we're setting up the, uh, the little commuter line weren't we there we here it is Commuter service, Donald Golden. Excellent. We can buy a train. Only needs to be a very small train, this one. We'll go for... I'm going to go for the Eureka, I think. Yep, the Eureka will do. We'll add him. Passenger. Just the two, I think, is going to be more than enough. It's only a small run. And you are on the commuter service. Here he comes. What I will do though is just oh, slow the game down. I forgot I had it accelerated. Manager vehicle. I'll just paint him the same colour as his line. There we go. It looks quite nice in the green there. I must say that's a very scenic backdrop there with the mountains in the background. Very pleasant indeed. Uh, what do we need to do now? Yes, a quick bus service for Donald as well. Shouldn't take too long to do this. And again, we'll do the clockwise counterclockwise setup. And if we just connect this road to this road here, we have a natural loop now for our buses to take. And then you're coming down this way. And then into the station. So let's get these two set up. Okay, you've opted not to use the loop I just provided for you, which is discouraging. So I'm going to have to use a few waypoints here just to get them to play nicely. And in terms of colours, we'll go for a light blue and a light green. Let's get these named. There we go, we can, yeah, we'll use this vehicle depot, it's not too far away, and we'll go for four per route, so it's eight total, and then green, there we go, I want to do a waypoint now, just to make sure these play nicely, go back to the line manager, and we want the bus services for Donald, and after Miller Street, you're coming this way, and after 11th Street, you're going that way. That's better. Just rename North Street as well 
to Donald Station. There we go. And there we go. We've got as far as Donald now. Yes, we've had to, we're using a commuter service for Donald, but that's fine. They're using this uh, separate platforms, which is great. That's what we want to see. We don't want them to be sharing platforms there. Here he comes just heading into Golden now. I'll tidy up all this grass in between episodes, I think, to get rid of that grass that's emerged there. And I think we're in a pretty good position. We're up to about 60 million. We're still making money. Let's just have a quick look at our lines before we do end the episode. Just stretch this out here. What's our least profitable line? The wheat freight to Ir from Irakana to Calgary is down a million. And the steel freight from Donald to Calgary. But that's such a, such a weight between deliveries that should... I think, you know, when you factor in how much it makes per delivery, I think there's enough for it to cover the years when it doesn't make any money or any deliveries, if that makes sense. I'll show you what I mean here. Yeah, it does look. If you add up the red bars in the gaps, although no saying that, maybe it's not. So maybe we need to tweak that in the future. We'll see. We've got congestion here in and out of the station caused by our wheat trains I think we probably have too many to be fair so I'm going to go ahead and just sell one there we go hopefully keep that free flowing a little a little smoother so yes uh, I think we've reached a decent point to end the episode we've got our mountain railways extended we've got a little commuter service between Donald and Golden the only thing we need to do at some point is as I said get a tram system from field into Lake Louise. We'll do that next time and that gives us a perfect opportunity to look at the San Diego electric trolley which I do believe is our first electric tram so that'll be quite exciting I am sure. So I hope that you have enjoyed this episode if you did feel free to leave a thumbs up on the episode or perhaps leave any comments that you may have and if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe for future videos and content. All that remains for me to say other than all of that is, as always, ladies and gentlemen, take very good care of yourselves. Ta-ta for now.